Hello, I'm Mrs. Lisa. Welcome to Bell Prez Kids Worship. We are here to worship, sing, and learn about God's big story. God's big story is all about love. God made this beautiful place that we call the earth. God sent prophets and angels to his people so they would hear his special messages. When people were separated from God by their sin, God sent his son, Jesus, so we would all be forgiven. God wants us to be friends with him and invite him into our hearts. We love others because he loved us. The Bible tells us the story of God's never-ending love for all people and how he wants to be with us always. And guess what? We all get to be part of God's big story. This month, we'll meet Abraham, Sarah, Isaac, Jacob, and Esau. They all learned that they were part of God's plan. One day, from this very family, God would send the one who would make everything right. You know who that is, Jesus. He invites us to be part of God's family forever. God had a plan to bring blessing to the whole world through the family of Abraham. God brought Abraham out of his homeland and made unbreakable promises to him. These promises are called a covenant. Even though Abraham and his wife were too old to have children, God made a way. Even though other people lived in the new land they arrived at, God promised the land to their future family. Even though all people sin and make bad choices, the family of Abraham would grow up to be a blessing to the whole world. Isaac was Abraham and Sarah's son, the child that God miraculously gave them. Isaac married Rebekah, and they had twin sons. They were Abraham's grandsons. The twins were born on the same day, but Esau was older. At this time in history, the firstborn son got most of the attention, though, since he would carry on the family name. Well, Jacob and Esau grew up. Esau, the older son, was a hairy man. He must have been really hairy because his name actually means hairy. The younger twin was named Jacob. Esau grew up to like hunting and being outside. He was his father's favorite, but Jacob was a thinker who liked to stay home. He was his mother's favorite. One day Esau came back from hunting and he was very hungry. He saw his brother stirring some stew. The smell made his stomach growl. Jacob said to Esau, I will give you some stew, but you must promise that I get your birthright. As a firstborn, Esau had a right to a much bigger inheritance than his younger brother. Esau was supposed to get a lot more of the family's riches later in life. The younger brother would still get some, but the older brother was supposed to get the most. But Esau was so hungry, he gave up his birthright for a bowl of stew. That must be the most expensive meal in history. Sometime later, Isaac was old and realized he was going to die soon. He asked his favorite son, Esau, to go on a hunt and make him a special meal. While Esau was gone, Jacob's mother, Rebekah, helped Jacob trick his father, Isaac. Isaac was so old he could barely see any longer. So Jacob put on a hairy goatskin and Esau's clothes so he would feel and smell like Esau. He brought Isaac a meal and pretended to be Esau. Isaac felt the hair from the goat skin and was tricked into thinking he was Esau. Isaac put his hand on Jacob's head and blessed him. Right after Jacob left, Esau came back from his hunt. He brought the meat to his father and said, Here I am. Bless me, father. 
Isaac realized he had been fooled, but he couldn't take back his words of blessing to Jacob. Now Jacob had Esau's inheritance of the family's riches, and he had the family blessing from God. Ooh, Esau was very angry, and Jacob needed to run away from his brother so he wouldn't be killed. What a mess! God had chosen this family to restore his relationship with the world, even though this special family needed God to save them. But God kept his promise to the family of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No matter what, God keeps his promises. Nothing, absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. What can take your love away? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. What can make us separate? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing in death. Nothing, absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. What can take your love away? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. What can make us separate? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing in death. Nothing, absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. Amen. Let's sing no matter what. No matter what I'm gonna face, gonna face tomorrow. I build my life on everything you say. You turn the light on, now I see, now I see forever. And things break, break You are my rock, my everything As the world shakes, shakes And things break, break You are my rock, my everything As the world shakes, shakes And things break, break You are my rock, my everything As the world shakes, shakes And things break, break You are my rock, my everything Sing no matter what No matter what Gonna face tomorrow I build my life on everything you say You turn the light on, now I see Now I 
see forever The path is clearer out in front of me I put one foot in front of the other Keeping my eyes on you My life following Jesus I trust you I trust you As the world shakes, shakes and things break, break You are my rock, my everything As the world shakes, shakes and things break, break As the world shakes, as the world shakes, and things break, as the world shakes, and things break, as the world shakes, shakes, and things break, break, you are my rock, my everything. Shake, shakes and things break, break You are my rock, my everything